If you're on the hunt for the perfect horror film that features every single movie trope known to man, the search is over. Look no further. The Strangers 2024 has you covered. This is going to be a spoiler-free review, but if you want to hear my spoiler-filled thoughts, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be ruining the crap out of this movie. Kind of like how it ruined an hour and a half for me. Directed by, checks notes, Rennie Harlan. What? what? Rennie Harlan, the guy that made a bunch of awesome 90s movies like Die Hard 2, Cliffhanger, The Long Kiss Goodnight, and then he went on to make cool, dumb films like Deep Blue Sea, and a bunch of other stuff like Driven, and I don't know what he's done in the last 15 or so years, outside of this pile of shit. That's right. Unfortunately, The Strangers is not going to be another feather in his cap, another bullet in his gun chamber. This is a straight up pile of garbage masquerading as a thriller slash horror slash I don't know what it is. A bore. A snore. A chore to sit through. <laughs> We're rhyming now. Listen, these are all opinions, of course. What can you look for? What can you expect from this movie? Well, it's only an hour and a half, which is nice. Even a little less if you shave off the credits. That's a nice time at the movies. It's quick. It gets in and out. That's about it for the pros. It is rated R. Yep, it's rated R. I'm not sure why. I guess there's a little bit of gore, but not much going on. Unless you get really grossed out by how people eat food. In which case, you might want to cover your eyes for this one. Because this guy bites into a hamburger like he's never had a meal in his life. It's disgusting. Ketchup's all over. Dripping. It's on his mouth. Just... Dude, try. I was really having a hard time understanding what Maya saw in Jeff. Jeff is... The aforementioned guy, Maya's his girlfriend for five years, going strong. No ring on that finger yet, though. He hasn't pulled the trigger. Well, he might want to think about doing it quickly before someone else does it first. And I mean literally, because there's people hunting these two in this film. The movie primarily takes place in a cabin on the outskirts of a small buttfuck town somewhere in America, featuring every single movie cliche in the horror space you can think of. We have kids hawking Bibles that look pale-faced and creepy, like they just walked out of a cornfield. There's a diner chock full of sketchy individuals. I have no idea how this couple walks in here, sees the crooked cops, sees the, uh, say rough people making the meals and thinking, yeah, you know what? This is an establishment we should stick around at. This is a place I feel like I could settle down, not just for the day, but we'll spend the night here. And it turns out they're gonna have to because they're having car troubles and the only place available is a cabin that's for some reason also an Airbnb. These people are up with the times and that's kind of a problem with this film because it takes place in modern times Which makes every single decision these dipshit characters do seem highly suspect highly Frustrating and really the culmination of all of this could be summed up in the word frustrating as you're watching this movie You will beg for these two dipshits to die. You will plead for the two or three individuals masquerading around in masks to kill them. You will be actively rooting for the villains of this picture. There's a point at the 42 minute mark, I know because I was keeping a active count of the time that was going by in my head, just to have something to do, where I thought about getting up and leaving. I was so fed up with these two morons, I had no other option almost but to take off for the door and save myself the pain and anguish of sitting through another miserable second with these two. Gum shoes. Uh, my gripes aside, what do you, the individual who loves horror films, have to look forward to? Every single thing you've seen a million times over, done much worse. I cannot believe that this is the guy who made The Long Kiss Goodnight. I just refuse to believe it. There's really no stank of his on this movie at all outside of one explosion that felt like it was obligatory just as a callback to every other movie he's made. On occasion, there is a tense moment or two. They're short-lived. They're fleeting, for sure, because the reason the characters are in the situations they're in is so asinine that it's really hard to get on board with anything that happens afterwards. You're just so annoyed the whole damn time. Not only is The Strangers a remake of a movie that came out not that long ago, 2008, it also is bold enough to throw a chapter one at the end. It's The Strangers, chapter one, implying there's gonna be more of these. Might as well. I'm sure this costs 
pretty much nothing to make. You got some no-name actors. You got a thrown together script by Chad GPT. You have really no effects work going on. It's a lot of practical stuff, which I appreciate, but it just does nothing new at all. And everything it has pulled from previous films, it's done it worse. Well, there you go. My thoughts on The Stranger spoiler free. Believe me, I have plenty to say about this movie unhinged, unshackled, unchained, and I will do so. So again, please subscribe if you want. Like the video, comment. Let me know if you saw this, if you're eager to see it now or you're less inclined to waste your money at the theaters. Maybe wait for it to hit Peacock or something in a couple weeks because that's what we do now with films. We release them into theaters and then, oh, has it been 24 hours? Let's put it on the cock. You can check it out right there on the cock. It hasn't been a great first half for horror movies. I've reviewed a bunch of them on the channel already. You should check out my tarot review next if you haven't seen it. Not good. Not good. I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding if it's better or worse than this. I mean, tarot is terrible. It's part of that now that's what I call horror franchise, PG-13 movies to really get no one fired up at all. So yeah, definitely give that a watch and hopefully I see you next time.